So I'm gonna level with every single one of you. I am, and it's pretty obvious to say, extremely tired today. Yesterday was honestly one of the best days of my entire life. I love when a Terraria update comes out, but I always knacker myself out. So today's episode will be about 1.4.1 and the side effects it's actually had on this world because we can already see differences but it'll also be kind of chill. Welcome back to Feather Worthing. So why am I in a hole? Why am I in the caverns? Well, that's actually because um, pylons are, are different now. They're a little bit, and I'm gonna say this in regards to how they worked before, broken. That doesn't mean they're bad now. I'm just saying like they don't work like they used to. So here in my uh, cavern town, uh, this pylon no longer works because it doesn't have enough NPCs around it. So uh, so that is a small change. We're already seeing differences. Um, so we're starting today's episode off by uh, making a new house. I'll probably uh, end up moving the cloth here, here since uh, he likes underground, right? And then we've got a lot of things going on. We, we really have a lot to do today. So up on the surface right now, a natural pirate invasion has begun. But I'm actually really happy about it because one of the things I want to do now is I want to get the brand new NPC. And to actually do that, you need to get every single NPC in the world. So that does mean uh, we're going to need the pirate captain. The thing is, this new NPC apparently drops a really amazing mage weapon. And I was dead excited because I was thinking about it and I was like, oh, we could, uh, we could get that today if we had all the NPCs. Turns out, not quite. Uh, you actually need the cyborg as well, and the cyborg doesn't spawn until after Plantera. And I'll level with all of you. I don't think I've spoken to the cyborg for the past five years of playing Terraria. Seriously, unless it's a mod that needs, like, nanite. Is that a thing that it sells? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I, I don't bother talking to it. Because what's the what's the point? You know, what's, what's it sell that, that I really need? Nothing. Okay, this house is looking good. I do need to add a door. Um, I was hoping a crafting bench would be down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bang one up right here and slap on a door. So we're not going up straight away to do the, uh, the pirate invasion. We are actually going to be lingering around the cavern layer for a while because we're going to be cracking on with some of the progress we made yesterday. Now, I'm going to assume that you didn't watch yesterday's episode Nobody did. Well, a lot of you did. About half of you did. But in all fairness, you know, releasing a Let's Play episode on an update day. Who wants to watch a Let's Play on an update day? Come on, everybody wants to actually play the update. I don't blame you. Because look, was I watching Let's Plays or other YouTube videos? No, I was playing the update. I know some of you are a mobile and console gang. I know that's not great, but you know, it is what it is. So anyway, what progress are we making? Well, we are uh, cracking on with the Old One's army. So the number one suggestion is I need to get damage accessories. Like right now, we're uh, we're just too weak. And the thing is, apparently, according to one of you, they actually nerfed Jester arrows. Seriously, they, they nerfed them, which is fine, which is fine. Um, but it does mean that the progress we made yesterday, and I even ended up getting more Jester arrows because after the episode was uh, done and recorded, I had hours to kill before the update. So I was like, I'll get some Jester arrows. So uh, we definitely need the, uh, the damage accessories. One thing I, I kind of want to make clear, and I want to talk about this in a, in a chippy gaming video tonight, hopefully. If I don't look too tired, I really want to like, you know, make some more stuff and, and pop up on camera, but I do look a little bit like a zombie. I got a great night's sleep in all, in all fairness, but, and I got the right amount of hours. I had eight hours, but it's just like throwing the cycle off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, one of the things I want to talk about is, in case you don't know, uh, I I don't honestly care about nerfs. I love buffs, but when they nerf something, I'm not very passionate about it. It's not because I think nobody should be passionate about it. It's just that I trust people to be better at that than me. Because I know that if I was in charge of Terraria, I would make the absolute worst decision. So if they say, hey, we've nerfed Jester Arrows, and I really like Jester Arrows... You know, I don't moan about it too much. Look at that. There's a, a bone man up there. I don't think he sells anything new, so I'm not really going to bother with him. Um, so, yeah, what accessories are we getting? We're trying to get the uh, the magic quiver. So, I'm going to basically hang around and, um, and get the accessory. 
I think a good example of me not actually caring too much about nerfs is the, the water bolt. You all know I love the water bolt. And, you know, with 1.4, they made it basically a post Skeletron. And I wasn't like, well, you know, you've ruined Terraria. I'm just like, all right, it's post Skeletron, fair enough. But I'm really excited to see, like, how it actually changes Terraria. Um, I saw that they added new summoning stuff. The truth is, as I'm recording this, I haven't actually read the, the change log for Terraria. I don't know about the buffs or the nerfs. But I saw that they added summoner stuff. Now I really want to do a summoner's run. But I'll probably save that for uh, another Chippy Gaming special. Because, uh, you know, after this, I really do want to check out mods. Okay, so this is going to involve a lot of farming of skeleton archers. Apparently, it's a somewhat rare drop. But... I seem to always have them in my worlds, magic quivers. So I don't exactly know how rare it is, but I guess the good thing about this is if I linger around here, I'm going to get plenty of souls of night. People really wanted to see a, uh, a clinger staff as part of the uh, the build as well. So, you know, if we get that, that'd be cool. I know that you don't get it from enemies, but if we get the souls of night, we can do the uh, the chest and such. So yeah, I'm really just going to linger around here for a while. If I get it, I'll, uh, I'll pop back up. But the good thing is, if I'm doing some farming today, it should give me some time to um, to, to, to be chill and to be zen. But um, I want to know, what is your favorite item that you've seen in 1.4.1? And uh, and what was your, um, if you played it, oh my god, look. Wow, it's an actual corruption mimic. Okay, maybe I might get the Klinger Staff. Oh, I've actually got to be careful here because... Um, if you remember, like, when we were on the surface, it was alright because we could keep our distance. Here, we're not going to be able to, and it's a one- yeah, it's a one-hit death. Alright. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I want to know, like, if you got to play it, what was your, like, favourite moment of yesterday? I think for me, it was... Hmm. That is actually quite hard, to be honest. No, I, I know what it is for me. It's very obvious. Um, let's talk about it. The Terraria Credits. If you didn't see, they uh, they added in credits for uh, the PC version, finally. They'd been kind of like lingering around on uh, mobile and console, but it was kind of like half-baked. Um, and my name popped up at the end, <laughs> and I actually shed a tear. I couldn't believe it, because, you know, I never thought I would pop up in the credits. I know a lot of you were like, well, you know, you're a YouTuber and you've, you've been doing it for a while. Um, but I didn't think I, I, I deserved it at all. I thought the, the credits was really defined for people that developed the game or really put in the man hours. Whereas me, you know, all I do is I make content about the game. So when I popped up in the uh, the special thanks, like, it was it was one of the, the most proudest moments of my entire life. Like, I know we have Chippy's Couch. We've got Couch Gang. And that felt the peak of it all. It really did. And then the credits popped up and now that feels like the peak. Because it's my name there on the game that I absolutely love, the best indie game of all time for me. And it's like, what an absolute honor. So that was my favorite moment from yesterday. I, I, I do secretly wish I, I had recorded my uh, reaction, but you know, the update came out and the first thing I wanted to do was pay respects to the people that made it. So I, I just watched the credits. I didn't know what it would be like. I thought it would just be a, a normal list. And like I said, I didn't expect to pop up, so. You know, it was, it was wild. It was really, really wild. So, I will say one thing. You know, if this uh, magic quiver is rare, I can really appreciate just how many of those uh, skeleton archers actually do spawn in. It is one of those things where, like, you know how when you don't want something, you always get it, and then when you want it, you know, you never get it? It is like a learning experience of that. Like, I've never farmed for this item. But so far, I mean, if this takes me all day, obviously I won't be, like, overly pleased. But uh, I think it's going all right. It's going well. I got a nice little, like, area to kind of linger around in. Is that a mimic? I hope it's a mimic. No, it's not. All right. Hey, there it is. I got it. Oh my god. That's how tired I am. My reaction was so slow. Wow. Well, there we go. All right. Magic quiver. For a second, I did think... I thought I'd saw it. I was like, oh yeah, like, that looks like the word magic quiver. And then I was like, no, it's, it's, it's disappeared. Like magic. Wow. All right. So the second thing that I want to get today is the ranger emblem. 
The only problem with this is... Actually, this might actually be a, a bigger problem than I'm thinking. Uh, I don't think we can get it because uh, we've only got one attempt at it because our guide won't spawn in again because of the um, the pirate invasion. So I think what we might have to do is go and do the, the pirate invasion and then come back to this. Is my guide alive? No. I don't think he is. Let me check. Guide? No. All right. Yeah. Guide's dead. <laughs> May rest in peace. But there it is. So it increases arrow damage by 10% and also greatly increases arrow speed. It also gives you a chance to not consume ammo. So I'll replace that with that. Because we don't necessarily need the movement accessories as much anymore. I will grab this now though so that I have it at least. Right. Bosh. I tell you what. I'll also grab a second one. I know that they spawn so frequently so it's like whatever but... They're good to kind of like, you know, just have a good bunch of them. Okay, so here's my plan for the pirate invasion. Or here's what I'm thinking might work. I don't necessarily know. So I think what it is is you have to you have to have the pirate invasion in, in the center of the map. Something like that. I want to see if it will actually spawn in uh, more towards the left where our, um, our little ramp is, you know, in the ice biome. No. Let's just linger around for a second. Yeah, okay, it won't. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to kick it old school like the last series and actually just um, make a lava arena. Mainly because it's not necessarily worth the time to commit to this. Considering, like, I think in this we'll probably get one shot all the way through. So I'll make a quick arena and then we'll, we'll crack on. I guess I could... Here's the thing. I could actually survive with holy arrows. But I only have a hundred of them left, so it's like, you know, I, I don't really have the time to, to make more. But that's what we'll do. We'll do Lava Arena. Lava Arenas are the best. <laughs> that's like, yeah, I, I, it fits the sleepy theme, you know what I mean? You just chill back, let the lava do its thing. Lava got changed, right, in 1.4.1? Like, I'm fairly certain they said that they're doing something with it. And they had to, like, change the rate that it hurts you or something. I don't know if that's going to affect lava farms. We're about to find out, actually. We're really about to find out. Because if it does, you know, the Terraria meta is over. But that's okay. Once again, non-passionate gang. So, I will admit, this isn't exactly my uh, finest moment in Terraria. But, you know, if it works, it works. Why not? You know, I just want to... I want to chill back. I've got a cup of coffee. I just want to... I want to relax, you know? Let, let let the lava do the work. Who even needs it? I'll tell you one thing. I'm actually just going to keep banging my money into uh, into my money trough. All right. Got it out. Well done, James. Yeah, I'm just going to keep banging my money in here. So that um, at least if I die by a ghost. Because the thing is, is you can kill a pirate captain with lava. But you just run the risk of um, just continuously spawning in those uh, like pirate phantoms. Wait. No, right, okay. I was going to say, do you have to kill a pirate captain to actually get the uh, the NPC? Or is it just the pirate invasion as a whole? I was going to say, because we at least need to kill a pirate captain. So what I was going to do is just teleport out of here the second uh, a ghost spawns. But I think we'll know pretty quick, because the ghost is probably just going to one-shot me. Look at that. It's, it's not got much left. It's not got much left. That's good. It works for us. It works. All right, pirate captain's about to die. So we do this. There's the phantom. I just want to kill the phantom just to show how to do it. Oh god, though, I'm wasting uh, I'm wasting precious jester arrows. Not worth. Oh god, getting back in a tight space with a rod of discord. Oh no, it's actually impossible. <laughs> have I shot myself in the foot? I think I have. I think we've got to make a new hole. <laughs> or maybe connect the two holes. Come on. Oh my god, it really doesn't work. Okay. This is going to look really janky, but I'm actually just going to dig under here. Thank you very much. We're going to climb out of there. It's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll sort this. I'll sort this. We'll just make a connecting tunnel at least. Oh my god. Look at that. We got a we got a coin gun. They're actually on it. Oh, they thought we died. But that's actually quite a rare drop, isn't it? Like, I've had worlds in the past where I've really looked hard for a coin gun. And there it is. If only we had the moolah to, to actually use it. All right. So, 99% and yeah, the pirates have been defeated. 
Very, very nice. Okay, that went down. Honestly, all things considered, extremely smoothly. Um, so I have seen the black nerf. Um, wait, the black nerf. The black spot nerf, by the way. Like, it's the first thing I did when I booted up my, uh, my summoner world is, I was like, oh yeah, I've got the, the mount on this world. And I just like opened it up and I was like, ah, <laughs> ah, this is all right. But that was so overpowered. Like, I remember we were using it to basically just bypass Mothrons. <laughs> and if you can bypass Mothrons, you know, something's clearly wrong. Also, I'm not claiming to be a prophet, but we've got to acknowledge the fact that in yesterday's video, which I know only half of you saw, I did kind of joke about the fact that maybe the new NPC is uh, is Princess Rosalina. I was saying like Princess Luna, wasn't I? Because I was thinking of the... the I, even I'm stumbling up now, but you all were like, yeah, it's Princess Rosalina. I'll be honest, in my mind, you know, I didn't really think that was real. So, you know, it wasn't a real prediction, but still, you know, it was either that or Jerry Seinfeld in the B-movie. So, you know, we looked out really. The new NPC is, is, is pretty cool. I think what uh what people this is this is the problem right this is the final update so this is the final NPC it's got a, a lot of weight to carry but I think what you got to remember is that a lot of NPCs in Terraria their real job mainly is to just hang around to fill out the world you know give give people something to draw and, and stuff like that you know not all of them are uh, are really useful like when 1.2 was out I remember specifically. All the people wanted was just, just give us more NPCs, fill out the world, like, give us more, give us more, give us more, because, you know, it just, it makes sense, you know, like, you play Terraria every day, you want to see some new faces, so I think for that, she's, she's pretty cool, she's definitely different. Oh my god, we got the unicorn set. So now we can do this, and look like an absolute freak. <laughs> This looks creepy. This has the same energy of like sitting on a person's back as they like crawl you around. Oh my god. <laughs> this is odd. I don't like it. Go back. So I don't know if you saw my uh, chippy gaming video yesterday about the rainbow cursor. So I am going to add the rainbow cursor to the elite status of couch gang. All right. If you've got access to 1.4... You've got to get the couch that enters you into into couch gang. It's a club. You get your own uh, you get your own couch, right? Does anybody remember Habbo Hotel? I used to play that game when I was like six. I'm fairly certain there used to be like a couch on that that represented the club, and it was it was golden, right? You need the couch for couch gang. That's established. James the Clothier, he's an added bonus, right? Protecting him at all costs is uh, is mandatory. Um, but yeah, elite status is the rainbow cursor because it is fairly rare and it is actually a fairly hard boss. At least it's, um, oh no, wait. <laughs> so the couch is one in seven and I'm pretty sure rainbow cursor is one in 20. So out of all of our items in Terraria, this one is, I would say by far the hardest to get. Maybe James the Clothier actually is like, how many potential names are there for the Clothier? Is it more than 20? You know what? I wouldn't say so. I would say that maybe, yeah, this has got to be the rarest one we've done. So if you want to get it, get it. If you mobile and console gang, once 1.4.1 comes out, you get a free pass. I better beat this wall of flesh because I hate when you uh, beat a boss and then you can't do it again and you've got better armor and stuff. Okay, right. Uh, Bam. Sorcerer's Emblem. Not good enough. So we've got to do it one more time. All right, so uh, that is attempt number two out the way. And look at that. We got the, the goat skull. Nice. It's a more demonic version of the, the unicorn. Looks very cool. Oh, my God. All right. We've, we've, we've reached the peak when it comes to being hit. Like, one hit now. Uh, this this series has the, the highest death count out of any series we have, we've ever done, I'm pretty sure. Caleb would know. Caleb, can you confirm? But still. Wow. Bam. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Come on now. A third hallowed key. 
A third hallow key without even trying. Wow. I've been here for, for literally seconds. Seconds. I, I don't know what's going on with this world. We are so blessed at the minute. Okay, well, I'll take it, sure. I wish they sold for stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I wish you could, uh, you know, use multiple. Wow, that is crazy. All right. I was going to do some um, some AFK farming for Holy Arrows. But, um, but you know, during nighttime, it's not worth it, like, with all the wraiths and stuff. All right, so I've got enough stuff now for uh, the Holy Arrows. Oh, wow, a rainbow slime. All right, yeah, sure, I'll take it. I haven't killed one of these in forever. Also, I got an Amarok as well. I was downstairs grabbing a drink. But it's weird because we've found there for uh, for a really long time when you think about it. Like, I feel like it's become a very iconic spot on the world. And that's my first Amarok. Weird, isn't it? Like, you know, because usually they, they pop up all the time. I wonder if they've uh, maybe tweaked anything with that. I don't know. All right. Uh, bye, Amarok. <laughs> I don't need it. So no point keeping it. Hallowed key. I tell you what we'll do. We'll get uh, a bunch of item frames and we'll put them up. All right, let's open this as well. Bam. Leprechaun. All right. Leprechaun. Look like a leprechaun to me. What? Such a such a good little viral video. Okay, so let me make these arrows then. And then we'll do the uh, the corruption mimic. And then I'll probably I'll probably call it a day for today. It's kind of hard to gauge how long the episode is because I've done a, a little bit of farming today. And I don't want this to be like, you know, a 40 minute episode. And then people, you know, start falling behind and stuff. You know, it's, it's never great when that happens. Uh, but don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'll be back tomorrow and I'll, I'll honestly be feeling like even better. Because <laughs> I'm definitely not staying up late tonight. I'm definitely getting an early night. But I do really want to, I do really want to emphasize. If you were one of the people that checked out uh, Chippy Gaming yesterday during the, the Mad Rush. Seriously, thank you. It's, it's one of the best days the channel has ever had. Right now, we're sitting on a million views in 24 hours, just channel-wide. For a channel my size, you may think that's normal. It, it definitely isn't. Um, you know, it's all because of the rush of the update, but yeah, I'm, I'm just super grateful. So thank you so much. Um, and if you joined this channel yesterday, because you maybe found me on my main channel, which is not really a main channel. This is my main channel. Um, thank you for that as well. Uh, you know, it's great to have you. I don't know if it sounds like I'm sad. I'm not sad. <laughs> uh, I'm just tired. <laughs> so if I sound like I'm a little bit different, I'm just slipping. Um, right. Key of night. This feels this feels wrong. <laughs> this feels really wrong. Because uh, I whenever I do this, I never do the corruption ones. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Uh, I will take with me wrath, endurance, regen. I don't know why I did that, because I don't think any of that is necessary. Okay, all right, let's go do this. I'm very excited. Let's round off the episode. I want to get that Klinger Staff. It's an item that I've never used seriously, ever. Um, and it was recommended by you lot. So I do really like uh, just taking your ideas, even if, you know, they don't end up being necessarily the best ideas. And I don't say that in a, you know, in a, in a poor way. You know, you lot... You lot are way better than me, trust me. <laughs> but what I mean is, like, if I don't use your ideas well, I still like to do them. Just because, um, I think it's fun. I think it's nice. It's, it's the fun of Let's Playing, isn't it? You know, just, like, sharing the journey, letting people control the journey. It's all good stuff. Oh, I was so fuming yesterday before the update came out, let me tell you. So, do you remember how my car got smashed in? And, uh, and it needs to get repaired? <laughs> so... The repair is actually happening on uh, on Monday. It's been like a month, a month and a half it's taken to get it booked in because of a uh, Rona, but it's fine, at least it's going in. But I was meant to get a, a courtesy car from the insurance company, the, the person who hit me's insurance company. Klinger staff, first time, YouTube look, you love to see it. Oh, this is not spawn on platforms, what are you doing? Only on brick, all right, how many can you have? Just the one. I really like that. That is actually such a sick idea for uh, for this event. Look at it. It blocks them away for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I was meant to get a courtesy car from the insurance company. Their insurance company. They were going to pay for it. But apparently, in England, you have to be 25 to, to rent a car through an insurance company. Gutting. 23 for life. Um, 
Yeah, I'm really, I'm really good about that, honestly. I wanted a courtesy car. Mainly because it's just fun to have a courtesy car. Okay, right. I'm ending it there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a very sleepy episode, sure. But did we get a lot done? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, so tomorrow we'll get the ranged emblem. And then we are doing Old One's Army. I can't wait. Tomorrow we're getting the, the tomb, the Tom, the Tim of Infinite Wisdom. And seriously, I'm not pronouncing it wrong on purpose. It's just how I pronounce it. I've read the comments. I wish I could do it better, but that's how it sounds in my head at least. All right. Uh, thank you to our channel members rolling by on screen right now. Okay. See you all tomorrow. Peace.